Hello and welcome to another video. You're joining me in Boltover today in the northeast county of Derbyshire. We're actually going to explore an English heritage medieval castle today. So much to see here. Absolutely cannot wait to start looking around this place. It's my first time here today, so I'm going to learn as much as we can as we walk around the castle. We're actually going to start by walking around the inside of the castle. Supposed to be absolutely loads to see on the inside. Some absolutely beautiful architecture here. Really excited about walking around here today. We're going to make, hopefully, make our way through the inside. I think they've got a one-way system that uh, they're allowing people in now. So we'll try and find the entrance for that now. What an absolutely stunning place. You're allowed to walk around the small castle. So we're gonna go and have a little venture in there first and then make our way to, to all the outside parts. Right. This is the entrance to the small castle. Masks on now to walk in here. That's absolutely stunning here. Beautiful architecture. I think we just follow it around. Holding napkin there. We don't see them on our dinner tables these days, do we? Absolutely stunning views out of the window here in the small castle. Imagine standing on here back in the day looking at that view. This is an absolutely beautiful room. What a 
is this a uh, summer explorer quest? Absolutely beautiful fireplace, sir. Huh? Mm. Right, let's keep following it around. Where's this taking us now? Absolutely amazing rooms to see. Astonishing paintings in these rooms, William shows his lifelong passion for art, poetry, philosophy and drama. Carpet in this one. Just look at all the artwork on the walls. He was definitely living a good life if he was living here back in the day. Uh, we can't get up there. I think we might have seen all the rooms up here in the small castle. Yeah, that's everything up here in the small castle. Definitely worth seeing. We make our way down the spiral staircase now to the outside. There's so much to see on the outside. I'm really looking forward to exploring the, the old bit of ruins that's on the outside there as well. It looks really interesting. Oh, could you imagine living in here? You could really stay out of each other's way if you wanted to. Where you can't get into. Makes you wonder what's up there. Right, that's it. That's our little tour around the inside of the small castle. And I start making our way around these beautiful grounds.
practicality and innovation. The innovative design of the terraced kitchen shows the understanding of the 17th century food preparation on a royal scale. Here's another part that we can't get to, unfortunately. I'd love to have gone and had a little look around there. Alright, let's keep exploring. What does this say? Apartments fit for a king, built by William Cavendish on a royal scale. These grand formal rooms were designed to impress. There's a little look of what it used to look like. You can see how grand that is. Right, let's keep venturing round. safety reasons. Pretty sure these walls have got some tales to tell. You can only imagine what it was like living here back in the day. He was definitely living a good life. Fit for a king. Let's have a little uh, venture around here now. It's extremely windy in this part, so. You was definitely in a good position in your life if you were stood here just staring out to the lands in your robe first thing in the morning. There's another plaque here for you to read. A Cavendish landscape. Boltover Castle was built within sight of two other Cavendish family houses had splendid views to the west and to the north. Right, I think this is the last little bit of castle that we're going to be having a look at, a little bit of an ex exhibition room. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of scrolls in here with information on and stuff. I don't think I can read them all out to you, so... Something you can uh, come and have a look at if you visit yourself. Some in interesting information about the history of the castle. I think it'd be nice to come in this room first, get all the information, and then uh, carry on with your tour around the castle.
door to the walk. There's the old door there. Some old stone works here. Well, that one's dating back to 1629. There's another one here called Beast from the Fountain. I think there's like a little bit of a cinema room in here or something. Yeah, that's a nice little touch. You can actually sit in there, have a little sit down for 10 minutes, get some history of, of the castle before you walk around, which is quite interesting. Yeah, this is a nice room for you to spend a little bit of time in before you walk around the castle. Very interesting place to visit, steeped with history. So happy I come. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.